I get a text and uh, it says big update. And I said, okay, what is it? And it goes on to kind of describe what I uh, tweeted out. You know, June 10th was a date that they wanted to start the second spring training on. I don't know what we're going to call it. Spring training two, spring training, the second coming, whatever. June 10th was that date. July 1st was the date they wanted to start opening day. So I read it and I'm like, okay, this is great. You know, this is something that we've been talking about for a long time. It's just kind of more um, confirmation on that date. So I said, is this like, how do you know this? Like, tell me, like, I'm digging now. I'm like, tell me, tell me why you know this. And I get people want me to tell like who told me this, but but it's just like not how it works, dude. Like I'm not bringing anybody else into this. Like I've already, like, I don't want anyone to feel like the way I feel right now, which is like, I'm on a fucking Island. That's the funniest thing. When you break something, people are like, well, who's your source? It's like, uh, yeah. So that's the thing I can't tell you. (laughs) I ask him, I I dig in, he kind of gives me some more information about it, kind of where he got it from. So then that's kind of when I texted you guys, say, Hey, I got a tidbit for tomorrow. It wasn't like, I'm going to blow the world up with this information. I said, I got a tidbit for tomorrow. We got tidbit show coming up. Let's do it. Well, then I get another text from somebody and it's the same thing. So now I got two people telling me the same dates and these are people that I know and trust different levels of the game, uh, but definitely involved with major league baseball, not like MLB, MLB, but like involved in the game of major league baseball. So then we start talking about it and you know, we're like, Hey, I said, Jim, I think I need to tweet this out. Let's, let's sit down and brainstorm first. Like, should we do this? Should we not do this? And you were pretty adamant. Like this is going to blow up. And I was a little scared about that. Yeah. So we sit down and we tweet it out. And just like you said, because you are the fucking king (laughs) of blowing shit up on the internet. It did. And immediately, I mean, almost immediately, like I'm talking like 30 seconds after I tweet this thing, I'm my phone is blowing up. Players. Guys in front offices. Guys at other offices, like people I don't want to, I just don't want to bring anybody into this. All all, All walks of MLB. All walks of MLB are calling me. So I pick them up. I have nothing to hide, you know? So I start talking to these guys and essentially yesterday after having a couple guys confirm it to me, I had, uh, I'd say throughout the day, probably like six or seven other guys, again, varying levels of involvement, uh, in baseball, uh, players, uh, front office alike, all essentially confirming it. So now here I am having to like defend myself over a fucking tweet and I'm sticking to it. I've had people ask me to retract it. And I said, no, yeah. I'm not going to do that because I believe it's true. I don't know what the journalistic rule is with the sources. There's like a fucking saying like one source, not good enough, or like fucking whatever. It's, it's something. I don't know if you guys yeah, know. Yeah. But you're up to like six, a lot. It's a lot. And like, even the people who were trying to get me to recant it essentially confirmed it. Yeah. Yeah. In the same breath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. insane. So yeah. here we are, you know, you, I mean, can we, I mean, share why they want you to recant it or share. Cause I just got mad again. Cause I went to the Reddit thread. Cause I wanted to thank everyone that was like in the Reddit thread saying like, actually I, I, you know, I listen to talking baseball and Trev's not the kind of guy that would just throw this out there to get people to go on to the, you know, clickbait. Like there's a lot of people that had your back and that listened to the show and understand you've been doing these tidbits forever and you're just letting people who listen to you know what you hear. And so I wanted to thank everyone in the the Reddit thread. And like, even on Twitter, there's a lot of that. I think what they're saying is, and I knew this, this has not been formally proposed to the MLB PA. Okay. I understand that. I knew that. But let me tell you something. If this get when when this gets proposed to the MLBPA, 
barring unforeseen circumstances, what are they going to do? They're going to say, yes, let's do it. Yeah. They want to play. And and we were talking earlier, like you don't need to start every tweet with barring unforeseen circumstances. That's just implied. If there's a if there's a, another jump in COVID cases throughout the US, guess what? These dates aren't going to work. Okay. If 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 the ML, if MLBPA and MLB can't come to or are, are gonna start fighting over salaries and the prorated pay for these guys, it might not happen. But if all things are the way they are, a month from now, we'll be playing spring training baseball. 